How's it going everyone? My name's Nathan and welcome back to the Snack Saloon. Now today I'm doing Singaporean snacks. Now I have four different types of biscuits here and I also have three drinks. Now the drinks were actually manufactured in Malaysia. It says products of Malaysia on the back of the cans, but the brand itself is a Singaporean brand. So I figured I'd include them in this anyway. I was thinking about doing Singapore and Malaysia in the same video just because of that. But then I thought, I don't want to sort of shortchange Malaysian brands, so I'll do, do a separate video on the way you want to get a few more things. So I'm going to start off with some of the biscuits here. These are orange cream biscuits. Make sure you can see that okay, there you go. And these are from Kong Guan, is the brand. And all of these biscuits are the same brand. Now these obviously do have a Singaporean address on the back. And all of the ingredients are in sort of Arabic script here as well. Also on the back. But judging from the front, they're like a double double cookie thing with an orange cream in the middle, which I thought seemed pretty interesting, so I'm anxious to try these. Okay, here's what the biscuits actually look like. As you can see, they do have the sort of stuff in the middle there. It does have a really strong smell of orange. I'm actually really excited to try this. Mm. These were actually pretty good. The orange filling inside wasn't too overpowering. I mean, obviously you could taste it, but it wasn't too strong. I actually really like these. Okay, next up we've got these in the similar packaging, also by Kong, Kong Guan. These are butter coconut biscuits. And I don't really know what to expect with these. I presume they're gonna taste like, you know, your regular shortbread butter sort of cookie, but you never know. Okay, they didn't really look like what I expected. They have sugar on top, and they're, they're sort of plain looking. So let's give these a try. Okay, these things are actually pretty good as well. The one thing I can compare these to is if anyone in the UK has had the Nice biscuits or Nice biscuits, it's one of those things that some, some people say Nice, some people say Nice. But if you've ever had those, these taste pretty much exactly the same as those as Nice biscuits. It's sort of the sugar and the, I guess the coconut taste as well. I never really thought of Nice biscuits being coconut, but they do taste exactly the same. Okay, I have one more type of biscuit in this white sort of packaging. And these are the lemon puff biscuits. I'm expecting these to taste similar to the orange ones, but obviously with lemon. Okay, they definitely look very similar. The, the biscuit on top and bottom is slightly thicker. And there looks to be a little bit more cream in there as well. It does smell very much like lemon. Hmm. Okay, so after eating those, I've learned that the, the puff is actually the biscuit on top and bottom. And the cream inside was kind of weak. Like you got more of a taste of the actual cookie on top and bottom of it than anything, which obviously puff. But you saw that as soon as I took a bite out of it, it sort of crumbled, and it was that sort of biscuit or cookie, whatever you want to call it, or more like a cracker really. So a cracker that when you take a bite out of it, it crumbles up. It wasn't bad, I'd prefer the orange ones to these, but these weren't terrible. Okay, next up I've got some digestive biscuits. Now, those other biscuits that I should just showed there, I've had those for a few weeks, but I've been sort of waiting to build up some more Singaporean foods to do this video. But I got these yesterday. And these are the same brand, Kong Guan. And like I said, digestive. On top they have the Asian right in there. The ingredients are in sort of Arabic. And it does say a Singapore address in these, so these aren't from Malaysia. I guess this brand is a legit Singaporean brand as opposed to a Malaysian brand. I should point out that digestive biscuits are actually some of my favorite biscuits to eat, especially McVitie's from the UK. So I am expecting to like these. Okay, here we go, obviously just a plain looking digestive cookie. I will be comparing these to McVitie's, like I said, that's the only sort of digestive biscuit I am used to. Okay, so these digestive biscuits, they're pretty good. They don't taste anything like digestive biscuits that I'm used to. McVitie's digestive biscuits seem to have more of a, I guess sort of a wheat taste to them. I mean, there's, there's wheat here on the cover. But these taste more sugary than anything. That's the only thing I can really say about them. They're just really sweet. They're good, I would eat them. But if I had to between McVitie's and these, I'd go with McVitie's. But like I said, they are pretty good. Okay, now I have three drinks, and these are the things that were made in Malaysia. 
but they're a Singapore brand. Now you could, I could have got these in a carton as well, like a, a carton with a store, like a juice box type thing. But you could only get them in packs of six, so I thought this was a better option. I'll tell you what flavors these are, because they are kind of unusual flavors. This is chrysanthemum tea drink. This one is lychee. And this one is white gourd. Now there was a sugar cane one as well in one of the cartons, which I've just noticed, so that kind of sucks. But I'm sure I'll do another Singapore video and I can include that at some point. But I think I'm going to start off with the lychee drink. Obviously these are canned and they're really cold because I've had these in the fridge overnight. I should point out the brand is Yo's. Okay, here we go with the lychee drink. I'm getting sort of a smell. Can't really pinpoint what it is. I figure that's what lychee smells like, but I've never had lychee before, so can't say for sure. That's actually pretty good. It's not carbonated, it's just like eating a straight up like juice box, like I said. And it just tastes very like, I guess what lychee, I guess lychee tastes sweet like this. Similar to a strawberry, but not quite. I can't really compare it to anything really. I mean, if I'd had lychees, I'd probably say it tastes like a lychee. So if anyone knows what they taste like, then I guess that's what this is. But this is actually pretty good. Okay, next up we've got the chrysanthemum tea drink, which obviously chrysanthemum is a flower, I know that much. No real smell to this one. The other one had like a strong smell to it, but this one doesn't really. So let's give this one a try. Yeah, that one doesn't really have much of a taste to it. You just sort of get the, like sugar, like really sweet. I don't know what I could compare this to. You know if you have um, sweetener, like artificial sweetener in your coffee? That's what this tastes like, just like really high sweetness. I prefer the lychee drink, but this is drinkable. And last up, it's the white gourd drink. Again, I don't know what gourd tastes like. No real smell to this one either. Let's give this one a try. Oh wow, what the hell? Honest to God, this tastes like coffee. I'm not joking. I wasn't expecting that at all. I don't know what it go. I'd love to try Gord now. This, honest to God, if I got this from like Starbucks or whatever, some coffee place, I wouldn't think twice. I'd just think it was coffee. I'd say that's my favorite one. Just because I wasn't expecting that flavor. I'd say this one, then the lychee, and then the chrysanthemums last. This is really good. So that's all for my Singapore video, guys. I tried some biscuits, I tried some drinks. Hopefully I can find some more things if anyone from Singapore wants to suggest some things down below. I do want to do a separate Malaysia video as well if I can get some Malaysian stuff. Obviously those drinks were manufactured in Malaysia like I said, but it was a Singapore brand so that's why I included them. Remember to give this video a thumbs up guys, leave comments and suggestions down below, and most importantly hit that subscribe button. Until next time, see ya!